Good morning. Welcome to another episode of Feed Me Friday. Um, something I want to share with you guys, and it's going to reflect in, you notice I'm doing things differently this morning. Um, I have noticed I just have been feeling so full lately. Oh my word. Like, I'm like, well, why, why in the world do I feel so full? I'm not really changing things. Um, I'm not eating more. You guys know I weigh my food. So why would I feel more full lately? And I mean, like over full. So I realize, you know, for me, I, I pray about it. I'm like, Lord, I need you to show me what I'm doing, what's going on. Um, what am I missing here? And this is what it is. It's that, um, in the past I used to weigh the entire meal instead of putting the fat in first and then weighing things out. And I'm like, oh my goodness, I can't believe I forgot that that's, that's how it needs to be done. So back to the basics. Um, this is what I started doing last year. I feel like it was longer ago than that, but I can't remember for sure. So anyway, um, and the thing is I weigh my food and I know there are people like, so I post about this in the Facebook groups. And in general, uh, everyone was, you know, like, oh, yeah, I, I, I can't eat a whole lot either, um, et cetera, et cetera. And then there are other people who were trying to give me advice. And I don't have anything against, you know, what they were saying um, because I understand, like, where it was coming from. So the thing is, uh, people were saying, well, all you have to do is you eat until the food doesn't taste good anymore. Like, okay. Um, I've thrown up eating a big, big portion of food and the food tasted good from the first bite to the last. And I mean, that's been this year. So, um, yeah, I, I can't trust that. Others say, um, you know, they'll tell me, well, you know, Dr. Siwis said that all you have to do is put like a big container of food in the middle of the table and you draw from that. And then you just take a little bit of it. It's like, well, that's how I grew up eating. So that, that method doesn't work for me. That's, that's, um, that doesn't help. Um, so while, while I appreciate the advice, all of these things I've tried myself and they, they don't work. And I brought up something in the groups and a few people were bothered by this. Um, thankfully, not that many, though, because I think a lot of people kind of get it. But I brought up the idea of portion control. And, you know, a lot of us are coming from a place of we don't want to do portion control anymore because that's the old way of doing things. We portion control before and we were starving. It led to disordered eating etc, um, etc. Cetera, et cetera. But here's the thing. Maybe it's just my personality type, but I'm okay with portion control. Um, when I was doing Weight Watchers, that's one of the good things I keep saying about Weight Watchers is it taught me portion control. It showed that system showed me how much I was eating and I was eating a lot. I didn't realize how much I was eating until I started that. And it wasn't good, the amount that I was eating. So I needed to have, um, I needed to be able to rein things in and do some portion control. Now I will go get the coffee. I'll be back. Blueberry cobbler coffee, two tablespoons of butter, two tablespoons heavy cream, scoop of collagen, and I'm back to needing salt in my coffee. Uh, anyway, so one of the issues in the carnivore community is that when someone is not losing weight or they're not having success, the standard advice is to eat more meat. Um, and it's maybe that's the case for some people. Maybe they are just classically under eating because they're coming from, you know, a place of I can't eat a lot because I'm not allowed to. So yeah, we want to get away from that idea. But there's also the problem of it's possible to overeat on this diet. You can absolutely overeat and not have any success. So I had started talking to uh, someone, um, my friend Terry, and 
she was trying to eat at least a pound of meat per setting and she was hating it. Like it just, she didn't feel well. And I carefully suggested, because I didn't, I, I felt bad because I'm like, I, I don't know, maybe she needs that much meat, you know, but I said, you know, maybe, maybe you don't need that much. I said, what if you got like a bowl? So like this size bowl, this is 10 ounces. It holds a little more than a cup of food. I said, how about if you get a bowl and you fill it up and that's the amount that you eat for your meal. When you get hungry again, you fill it up again and that's what you eat. It's not overflowing. It's not like, you know, um, it's not like heaped in there and packed in there because you want to get away from that idea of like, oh, this is all I get to have. No, no, no. That's just what you have right now. And if you feel pretty good at the end, um, that's, that's what you eat. So she was thrilled. She's like, you mean I don't have to eat that much? She's like, I was choking down the food. So thankfully that's what she did. She switched and she felt so much better. It's like, if she feels like she wants more, she has more. It's not a big deal anymore. And she's starting to see results. And I thought I would recommend that to you guys too. Like it's okay to have some portion control. I, I do think it's like, if you're someone who, who's like me, who struggles, like everyone's like, well, you just stop when you're full. It's like, I can be full after two bites. I can feel like I don't need anything else to eat after two bites. So I can't trust that. There's also the issue of when I'm really, really hungry, uh, I could just keep eating. I won't even pay attention to any kind of signals. I will just keep eating. So I need this. This is my goal. It might seem restrictive, but to me, this is freedom. I don't have to worry about it. I don't have to stress about it. I don't have to later be regretting that I ate too much. So anyway, that was what I wanted to share this morning. Um, it was funny because Terry's like, you need to patent that bowl idea. And I'm like, oh, well, maybe I'll share it with more people. I did put a post up on Facebook about it. And that's where I kept getting like the comments and stuff, which like I said, most of the comments were very, very good. Other people were just trying to give friendly advice. And I appreciate that. I'm I'm thankful for the community because a lot of people do have good advice. It's just some of the advice doesn't work for everybody. And as long as you remember that, like this, this idea is not going to work for everyone. There are people out there who this would be a trigger to like think, oh my goodness, I, I can't, I can't use a bowl. That's not going to work for me. I need more food. That's fine. Have more food. So anyway, that is it for now. This smells so good. Oh my goodness. So this, I didn't tell you guys, altogether, this was about 100 grams. I don't even eat a pound of meat in a day. And I know that there are probably some people out there who think that if they saw this, they would say that I'm under eating, but legit, my stomach can't handle more. Um, if I eat more than this, I'm going to have a stomach ache for the rest of the day. So I'm, I'm sticking with what I can. And that's it for now. Second cup of coffee. It's only a little bit after nine, but I am, oh my word. <laughs> I am like really slow today. Um, the caffeine doesn't do anything for me, but the fat in this will definitely help. And trust me, I know caffeine does not help me. Um, I think I'm just like completely drained from table tennis last night. Uh, real quick too, I just came across a video by Hanging with the Browns. Oh my word, what a cute couple. They are so funny. And I am not even fully through one of their videos yet. I just, oh my goodness, they're... Their personality, uh, both of them, is just, I, I love that. They're they are very, very funny. Um, anyway, that's going to be it for now. I forgot to say, this is caramel, salted caramel mocha coffee, and it is fabulous. And all the same stuff as I put in this morning. Actually, I did do an extra dash of salt. This is lunch. It is 100 grams all together. It's a... Um, I made this cheese bake last night with mozzarella and ricotta. So I put that in there along with some tri-tip that I got on sale, some butter and some Parmesan cheese. And I'm going to go eat this. It It's so cute. Like this little pan, like 
Put my hand here so you can see how tiny it is. It's just adorable. Anyway, that's all. This is a pretty late dinner for me. It is eight o'clock and this is um, chicken salad on some cheese. It's not quite a hundred grams. Normally I would have had dinner way earlier, but I just wasn't feeling it today. I had said last week, I think playing table tennis at night, like the three hours that I play um, on Tuesday nights just kind of does something to me so that on Wednesday I don't, I don't know, it's something weird. It's like, I just don't feel like eating as much food. So anyway, uh, this is going to be it. Thank you so much for watching. This video is brought to you by my faith in God who has everything you need and nothing you don't.